Yeah, but can Shawnee Furlan get to it? He does. He's outside the 21, ideal for a left footed kicker. He's going for it on the left foot. Has he got it on the left foot? He's kicked it out to the house. A good point, Peter. And a free kick for Wicklow. JP kicks it right across. JP Dunn, over to Darren Hayden. Is he going to go for it from there? He's certainly outside the 21. He can have a chance of it. Darren Hayden on the right foot kicks it and he's kicked it over the bar. Good point by Darren Hayden after 15 minutes. I don't know whether he will or not. But he did. He keeps it in play and Shawnee Furlan can get possession. Shawnee Furlan with the ball. It goes across, kicks it right across the goal. Uh, Dean Odlin will be on the end of this. Can he get to it? No, he can't. Uh, but uh, Leighton Glynn is on the end of it on the left foot. It's a tap over for Leighton Glynn. If he can get the swing ahead and Leighton Glynn kicks it and puts Wicklow in front. Wicklow in front with, by, with a point by uh, Leighton Glynn. And though is going to have a go at this. It's just about a couple of, meter, couple of yards outside the uh, 45 meter line it's in front of the post Wicklow leading here five points to four in this vital uh, league match for Wicklow remember two years ago uh, we were beaten down here in uh in Carrick on Shannon, in front today at the moment, 5 4s. John McGrath kicks this. He's kicked it pretty well, too. And I think he's kicked it over the bar. He has. Great point by uh, John McGrath. We'll see. As Leitzum go right through, and, and the, who gets it again? Hit the full fire. I think you're right, Peter. They just haven't got on top of this Leitrim team at all as this ball is kicked out to the middle of the pitch. And Leitrim are battling and fighting harder for the ball in the middle. And this time it's the halfback Barry Pryor who gets it, holds on to it, lays it back to uh, Daniel Darren Sweeney. Who's kicked the first one? And who's got the chance for a corner for the corner? Cops to blast it. Anyhow. Because really it's. Uh, it's uh, very, uh, uh, very, very poor indeed. And uh, just, to, just to let you know that uh, France 9, Ireland 5 is the score for, at the moment from uh, the Aviva. As uh, Wicklow go attacking again, Darren Hayden, how many gets him the ball in time? He's got inside the final five. Who's got with him? Paddy Dawson's going to be tackled as he passes it to him. Back to John McGrath. A point from John McGrath will at least put it uh, down to three. And John McGrath kicks it over. A good point for Wicklow. They picked up that one when they, uh, when they really put their mind to it. And they're going to have to apply themselves, I think, in the second. As uh, Wicklow go attacking again, Darren Hayden, how many gets him the ball in time? He's got inside the final five. Who's got with him? Paddy Dawson's going to be tackled as he passes it to him. Back to John McGrath. A point from John McGrath will at least put it. Uh, down to three and John McGrath kicks it over a good point for Wicklow. They pick him playing out their skins in that first half because remember they had a man put off. Uh, tackled by the corner back, uh, uh, that's uh, Gary Reynolds. The free is taken already by Paul Harris into full forward line. Shawnee Furlan goes up, doesn't take it, ends up on the 
control with the ball. Referee is going to throw this up, is he? We don't know, he's blown the whistle anyway. Uh, he's blown the whistle and let's see what he's going to do. He's uh, got the ball and I think he's probably going to throw it up as a bit of uh, uh, pushing and shoving just to be uh, uh, thrown in by the referee, which it is, and it's well taken uh, by James Stafford. Heads towards the goal, drops the ball, has to pick it up again, surrounded by Leitrimin, it drops it, it ends up instead with Paddy Dalton, Paddy Dalton back to John McGrath, no room for McGrath, looks like he was pulled and he was, and it's a free in for Wicklow. After 1-8, leads him down to 14, but not playing like a team that's only playing with 14, as uh, uh, John McGrath lines this one up on the far side taking his time with it, it's an important kick for Wicklow, it's one goal and eight, uh, two eight, and uh, uh, just uh, seven minutes gone, coming up to eight minutes in the second half, uh, Wicklow definitely need to score, John McGrath with the kick and I think he's popped it up yesterday on for a goal for the flag and they popped it over the bar, John McGrath with that point, Paul Wallace with it in. Back into Conor McGrainer. Uh, Conor McGrainer with the ball, still with the ball. Looks like he might have held it too long, but gives back to Paddy Dalton. Paddy Dalton over to John McGrath. This is a tap for John McGrath. It's 45 metres out. It's a long way out. And is he going to go for it? John McGrath to put Wicklow in the lead. And he goes. That's the best point of the day. Best score of the day. Easy the best score today from uh, uh, John McGrath to make it uh, 12 points to 1 8. And uh, I think I said he went off, I think it was Paul Brennan went off with the other half forward. It's uh, Darren Sweeney with the uh, free kick right on the sideline, uh, just outside the 21 metre line. And Darren Sweeney has kicked it pretty well, he's gone right back to the just with the one he uh, James Stafford there, uh, right on the edge of the square, picks it up and uh, feels it, lays it off to uh, Paul Earls. Paul Earls being tackled at the point, gets Kylie to the forward off for uh, Eaton, over to, Dem to the. Uh, Shawnee Furlan gets to it first. He does. Kicks a good ball across to Darren Hayden, who's running forward. And Darren Hayden has got Niall McGrainer with him, decides uh, to use him. And McGrainer outside the 21. Has an easy tap over from there, decides to go to two. Two dummies has had it too long, maybe. And Niall McGrainer on the right foot has kicked it over the bar. And here's the lead for Wicklow. It's out by Leitrim. And that's a terrible pass. Gives the ball. Straight to John McGrath, John McGrath over to Conor McGrainer. Uh, Conor McGrainer with the ball into Paddy Dawson, Paddy Dawson's bit of space. Uh, back to Darren Hayden, this could be low and hard, Darren Hayden, and it's good! That surely can wrap it up. Uh, wins the free kick. Uh, Leitrim not happy with the, with the free, but it's given to uh, Wicklow. Pat McWalter is the man who came on for Niall Gaffney. Pat McWalter down the line towards Shawnee Furlong. Shawnee Furlong with the ball. Uh, comes in with the ball, and uh, again, a free kick for... Uh, a free kick for uh, uh, Wicklow because uh, the referee has judged a foul by the Leitrim player uh, to put Wicklow uh, five points up. It's 113-19 to and Shawnee Furlong kicks this one much better, kicks it over the bar and uh, so uh, really at last we had, uh, we were here two years ago and Leitrim caught us in the end. Hope straight to a Leitrim man, but Jim, it goes under Leitrim man's head to James Stafford. Big good worry, shouting at John Finn where he wants the ball kicked in future as James Stafford kicks the ball into the full forward line. It's going to be taken by John McGrath to Nathan Glynn. Nathan Glynn is in. Low hard, it's going to be low hard again. No, he's kicked it over the bar and uh, Leighton decides to pull it over the bar and uh, go for safety. That was the one that was coming up with the ball. Two minutes of injury time and we're in injury time at the moment. Leitrim with the ball in their own half. Wicklow now comfortable, 115 to 19. Mick O'Dwyer will be very, very pleased to uh, come out with this with a win uh, because uh, he lost he lost here two years ago to uh, Mickey Moore. And, uh, again, this is a free kick this time too. Uh, uh, if he's given this free kick, well, which way is he given it? He hasn't actually shown which way he's given it. He could be given it either way. So, uh, uh, well, we'll have a count of them later on, but it has been uh, not the referee's day. I hope there's an assessor here because uh, Eamon McHugh from Tyrone is the uh, referee and really hasn't uh, done very well in this particular match as Leitrim uh, kicked that ball over the bar uh, with uh, it's only their third score in fact of the second half because uh, uh, they're at 110 with one seven at half time and Emlyn Mulligan kicked that over from that free but uh, full time here I expect it's going to go any minute because we're at 27 minutes there was two minutes of injury time and that is now up the referee will blow the whistle I think very shortly here ball kicked out James Stafford goes up for in the middle of the pitch there goes the Leitrim uh, 110, Wicklow 115, a five-point win, and Mick O'Dwyer will be very pleased indeed with that uh, uh, result.